for most women, they've been taught by their mother and their grandmother to get a pap smear every year. And gynecologic care and has been anchored on the pap smear, and we all recognize that's a test to prevent cancer. What we don't recognize, or a lot of women don't recognize, is that perhaps we've, like I said, hit the limitations of how useful the pap is. There are a lot of women in this country that have a normal pap when in fact it may not be normal, or in fact they may have precancerous changes. And so I think it's a big paradigm shift to tell women, we don't want you to focus so much on the pap per se, but really on the HPV test as a legitimate screening test replacement. It's done the exact same way as a pap, but the test is very different than a pap smear. HPV stands for the human papillomavirus, and so why is it important in cervical cancer screening? Well, in essence, what we've learned is that essentially every case, or the majority of cases of cervical cancer, is preceded by an HPV infection. So it's the one malignancy that has what we define as a ubiquitous or very common cause for the development of that cancer. So in essence, it's extraordinarily challenging and difficult to develop a cervical cancer without a preceding HPV infection. So the two are inextricably connected. The test itself, the test measures uh, basically the presence or absence of HPV DNA. And so the, the neat thing about the test is unlike a pap smear where it's interpreted by a cytotechnician, there's a lot of subjectivity, a lot of maybes, a gray area. For the most part with HPV testing, it's a yes or no answer. You either have it or you don't have it which is what makes it uniquely attractive because you take that subjectivity out and, uh, it's, and it's the simple presence or absence of the test that we're basing our decisions on. I think what women should ask is that, is the pap smear the best screening test available out there for cervical cancer detection? And they should ask very pointedly, what's the role of HPV testing? And we're not advocating whether or not HPV testing by itself or in conjunction with PAPs are better or worse. But what we do want women to understand is that there's a clear-cut role for being screened with HPV testing, mainly because one, if it's negative, there's this great reassurance that it's unlikely that you're gonna get cervical cancer over a three to five year period. PAPsters can't do that. The other reason is that if it's abnormal, then it definitely merits a potential workup and that workup based on the clinical trial work that has been done can pick up more disease, disease that you want to pick up earlier before it becomes full-blown cancer. We just use pap smears differently. So instead of using it as the first test that you get, you use it as what we call as a triage test, a test when perhaps the test is abnormal. And one of the great concerns that we have is that with time and with more women and girls being vaccinated against HPV, the amount of the, the amount of precancerous changes that we see that's going to drop over time, that pap smear doesn't work simply doesn't work that well. And it's probably going to even function more poorly over time. The pap is not going away. We're just using it, I would describe it in more in a more strategic manner. 